are in the north entrance. But right now we're next to the north centre bastion. And this is around where the Devil's Tunnel ends. Meet you at the entrance. So guys, I'm in the um, north entrance and I was just coming up a hole. It was quite hard, but as soon as I get in, it's not that far of a drop. It reminds me of the old entrance to a place called North Centre Bastion, which I, well, and the patch, which I thoroughly mentioned um, earlier. But wow, never been able to get in here so easy because I came in here after it was all bricked up. There's some kids on top of here who said they found the line going up to the pool box on top. I mean, I know where the pool box is, but can't find any way up unless they're going up the oven or something. But yeah, I'll stop recording and carry on once we've actually got ready. So I'm in the north entrance gun rooms. I think this is where Young was. Oops. I know there was nothing in this room. But um, yes, this room, I'm not sure what it was used for. It goes higher and it's quite interesting. And so is the smell. Um, there's also ventilation, um, which hasn't got any paint in it, which is different. It was like one of those rooms where if you were in here on your own it would be quite creepy because you don't know what's there. But yeah, it's good to think it's basically I've only been in here once before. I mean that was a peak line, so mm. there's the stairs going up to the main road, get down in a bit. This is where you would like shotguns out. Shoot. Aim, shoot. And it was then the moats was the entrance. On the outside of here is underneath a drawbridge, which is quite interesting. And um, we will get there in a bit. So, yeah, I did not write that, by the way. That's not me. Yeah, so it's good to be in here again, uh, because I've only been in here like once. But it's quite clear, apart from like a couple of roots of cola, and that's because this route called the Western Light Innovation Society are going to open it up to the public, which sounds quite exciting actually, like kind of disappointing if you can't go in on the road at the same time. Interesting. We've got this huge party door and electric, which has sadly been vandalised over the years. And this shaft here, which was um, light, I think, but I'm not sure. Now they used to be able, used to, be able to climb in at the end of the road, but now you can't because some idiot came in and kidnapped these bricks from the floor, which is just really stupid and disrespectful to the uh, past. But now I'm going to the drawbridge. Uh, I'm not going to say it because, well. Yeah. But yeah, this is right. But down there, there is a staircase going down, but I'm not sure if we're going to use it. But down there is all the machinery from how it used to be operated. And also, there, there's that bricked up door there, which is where we were a couple of seconds ago. Now, here's the and we'll start going down the stairs, but a good thing to know is that this drawbridge was known as a drop-down drawbridge, and it would have sort of dropped down onto the outside where it would have met two drawbridges. Just an interesting thing I was mentioning. And these doors are amazing. I mean, you can see the old paint, which kind of is like naval paint, but I'm not sure if it is moving paint. But even the hooks and doors are still here. I don't really remember this bit much, but I know there's this shaft here from the videos I've seen. But I remember it being able to go that way and you'd be able to go. Uh, pretty sure it used to go that way and you'd be able to go into the um, 
Let me just see how it is. And there's a big beam which looks like it was from the bridge. And um, some stuff that was added in World War II. And there's this picture. I'm not sure what it is. And it's still frozen in tight, it's really cool. And this was some kind of pressure plate. There's one on the outside of this place too. But um, years ago, it was also used as a road to um, drive through before they built a road that came through and also ruined part of the place inside which we'll get to in a bit. Now, um, there's a garden next door and also something else, I'm not sure what it is. But it could be the Shabbat. A sand view of the man who likes it for. And this will get darker as we get this towards the end. But look, another pressure plate here. And there's also one on the outside, which we probably won't get a shot of, but it's worth trying out. But there's squares, they can do that, so you can't get through it. Yeah, there's a garden in there, on the outside of that wall. And out there is the actual entrance to the whole road network. There's enough of pressure plate out there, but I can't see the inside. But if we go outside there, we might be able to feel it. But we'll go over to the reservoir now. Yeah. Which has a thoroughly engine. Nice frame. Was that a thoroughly engine? Yeah. Oh, that's a thoroughly engine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.